How's it going everyone and welcome to the first ever set review on the channel. Today's video we're going to be going over the up and coming set in the Dragon Ball Super TCG Realm of the Gods. This set is scheduled to release in March this year. It was originally supposed to come out on March 11th, the pre-release on March 4th, but I'm pretty sure the release has been pushed back to the pre-release on March 11th and the official release on March 18th, which is my birthday. You can expect to see some familiar faces from the very start of the anime as well as moments from the Battle of Gods arc, Goku Black arc, and of course you can't forget your Dragon Ball superhero villains as they love to throw these into the sets as well but we'll talk more on these later. All 12 angels will be featured in this set which I'm personally a fan of because I really hope to get my hands on all 12 of them. Now two of them are going to have SRs and SBRs for these cards look so amazing. I'm not going to show off these ones, but I will show off this Whis one that I really hope to pull because, I mean, how can you not love this card? Super Saiyan God Trunks is getting a lot of love in this set. He has a lot of amazing looking cards that I'm really hoping to get my hands on in this set. Now, we're going to talk about some of the SRs and SPRs that are in this set. Now, to be fair, I'm not going to show off all of them because I don't want to spoil everything in the set. I kind of want to leave some, you know, surprises for other people that tend to open it. But if you guys don't want to wait, you're more than welcome to go check out the card list. Now, I'm happy to see Beerus and Champa getting some love in this set as these cards look great. But I want to come back to Beerus in a moment. Now, these Goku Black cards look fantastic and the Zamasu isn't bad either. But man, this Goku Black SPR looks amazing. I'm really hoping to pull this card as well. Now, the last SPR I want to show off is this Goku and Jiren that I'm hoping to pull. But honestly, the one I'm not showing off is way better than this one. And these SRs on the screen are shown here because I showed them earlier, but I really just wanted to show off that Toa because I really hope to pull that too. Okay, so now we are going to be getting into what I think is the biggest make or break for this set. We're going to be talking about the secret rares, so this is your spoiler warning, because we're going to talk about all three of them, okay, and my opinions on them. So, if you don't want to see them, click away now, but if you go into this and you get spoiled, now it's your own fault, it's not mine. <laughs> the first secret rare is Mira. Now honestly, I'm pretty disappointed to see a secret rare as a Xenoverse character because we have yet to see many characters get their debut as secret rares, such as the likes of Beerus, who is a very fan favorite god card. Now, in his day, he has gotten some amazing looking SPRs, but still, not seeing him as a secret rare in this set is pretty disappointing. But with the god rare still yet to be revealed, people and fans can only speculate and hope that Mira wasn't the one that was selected because honestly it'd be very disappointing to see the God Rarity debut as a Xenoverse character. Now the second secret rare we're going to be talking about is yet another Xenoverse character. While she is a waifu and she does look great on the card, I do not agree with this selection. While I feel like Topo from the Tournament of Power would have been a much better choice or maybe, you know, the two guys on the box art would have been also a good no-brainer choice as well. Now, I just hope that these two aren't the ones that are picked for the alternate art, you know, god rarity, because it would just make no sense whatsoever, and, you know, I just don't understand these choices for the secret rares. The third and final secret rare is Royal Blue Vegeta. And while at first I wasn't big on this card, I have to say it has grown on me after seeing our other two candidates in the set. Honestly, I'm hoping this was a card that was chosen for the God Alternate Art. It would make the most sense and it would make the set way more sought after, in my opinion, for collectors like myself. But it could be any of the three, and I personally think if it's not Vegeta, then probably Supreme Kai of Time, but I personally think Vegeta would be better. Who are you hoping it's going to be? Do you like the choices for Secret Rares in this set? Let me know down below. Okay, so my final thoughts on this set is outside of the secret rares, I think the art and the cards chosen look great. I really hope to pull a lot of these SPRs and SRs and all the angels as well because I think this set 
is going to be a little bit of a fan favorite, but I just don't know if the secret rares are going to sell people because a lot of people like iconic moments like the miraculous conclusion secret rare with Goku and Frieza. That is such a collector card because it's it captures a moment from the anime. And, you know, honestly, if that god rarity isn't Vegeta, then I'm really not going to care too much to hunt for it just because I don't really... Because I feel like Supreme Kai of Time is going to be the second candidate because she is a god, technically, and not to mention she is an anime waifu. So I can definitely see them trying to, like, be that as a selling point. But who knows? I could be wrong. But hopefully, you know, I know I didn't go over all the art in the set, but if you guys want me to in the next set review, drop a comment and let me know so I can go over and talk about everything. I just didn't want to spoil everything for anybody, so I mean, I just try to be courteous of that. But if you guys don't care, let me know and I'll just, I'll go all out next time and we'll talk about everything. But we'll go ahead and wrap up my thoughts and you guys can uh, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. I was trying so hard not to stutter. <laughs> Alright everyone, that's the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this new thing I'm trying on the channel. If you guys did, make sure you guys hit the thumbs up. Let me know you guys enjoyed it. Drop a comment down below. Let me know your guys' thoughts and your comments of, you know, if you guys think I should add something different or you got like a cool idea maybe I should try. I'll definitely take the, you know, constructive criticism if you guys think I need to do something different. But with all that being said, everyone, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you guys enjoyed it, you guys can also check out other videos of me opening cards on the channel. But with all that being said, have a great day, everybody, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.